Hello everyone, I am Alka1093 and welcome to part 2 of this April Fool's video on Pokemon Vortex because yes, it is a serious event and Flamescape knows I'm recording so now they're just running around in my intro. <laughs> they're back. Also Patrick's here. Hello Patrick. Um, so, in the previous video I showed you what the event was like, how you could get there, I showed you this little house area and how in this event area anyway you can directly access the ghosts and psychic maps. But I also said at the end there was another secret that might be a location, that might be a Pokemon encounter, but I was really vague about it and I wanted you all to find it out by yourself. Now I'm going to show you what that was like so that in case you hadn't figured it out yet, you still have, at the time of recording, just over five hours, and probably when this is up, just under five hours left to find this thing. So let's go. Let's see if Flamescape's coming along. They might be uh, showing us, so let's, let's, let's just follow them, I guess. Let's, let's see where they're going. Oh, they're just following me. <laughs> they're following me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm going to use the same, same technique as before, with um, my mouse right here on the battle in case you find something good. Yeah, I'm going to like show you some things. Actually, no, I'm not. Because if you've played the game normally, you should already know a little bit how you can access things, and I've already shown you all the, the main access. I should just go directly to where it is. Because you don't need to be in the ice map, you don't need to be in the ghost psychic map, you don't need to be in the fire map. You don't need to be in the grass map. Where you want to be is the cave map. So you want to go right here. And there's a few routes to go to where you want to be. I like to take this route. And you're going to go to where normally there is a dead end. Normally. Because watch this, it's about to get fancy. Normally, there's a dead end here. If you look, if you can see this part of the map, this is absolutely 100% a dead end. Except now. Huh? Dun dun dun! A new map has been added, and this isn't available in the standard game. Potentially it'll be added in the future. That's not been confirmed. However, there's, there's some cave things here. There's like Geodudes, there's Diglas, there's Zubats. But there's also quite a lot of dragons. Your Axew, your Dino, your Swablu, which evolves into a dragon. Dredagon. I believe both Dratini and Bagon appear here as rare encounters, which somewhat surprises me, but that's the case. Um... But there's something else that appears here, and they're just good. And they're not all that rare. I feel like they're a standard rare encounter. Boom. Zygarde Cell. That's the other secret. It was in two parts. First, the location, the dragon map. Second, what seems to be a standard wild Pokemon rarity, you can capture Zygarde Cell. So if you want yourself a Zygarde Cell, or just a huge collection of Zygarde Cells, you can catch them in the wild. Just normally, right there. Another Zygarde Cell. And I say another because I'll show you. I have quite a few now. And I had like one or two before this. Actually, I must have had more. I don't think I caught this many. But I knew, know I caught a lot, and I put like three up in Poke Bay. So if you want to bid on my Zygarde Cells, feel free to do that. But back to the event center. Because I want to catch some more of these things. Ah, I saw Flamescape. There you go. There's Flamescape. They did follow me. They knew I, where I was going. Also, um, as far as I've been told, like, I, I don't know the statistics of what Pokemon exactly can appear on this map, especially the rarer encounters, like... The legendaries, the starters, and stuff. But Mr. Rhyme, this is an update like that I found out after um, the first video that I made on this event. Mr. Rhyme supposedly has the same encounter rate as a legendary, which actually means if you don't have all the badges, you have a higher chance of encountering Mr. Rhyme, because the moment 
because normally you can't find legendary Pokemon without all the badges, but Mr. Rhyme can be encountered without having all the badges. So then it's a lot more likely, obviously, to get Mr. Rhyme, because let's say on the water maps you might then see a Kyogre, or um, potentially like Azelf appears there, I don't really know, or on the grass maps you might see a Rayquaza or a Shaman Sky, and not Mr. Rhyme. So, if you don't have all badges yet, this is your chance to get a lot, to get multiple Mr. Rhymes, because it's a lot more likely to get it. But if you do have badges and you don't want to reset, like me, um, the suggestion is to go to the Dragon Map, because supposedly the Dragon Map has the least amount of legendary Pokémon in the appearance pool, which means that the highest chance of encountering Mr. Rhyme is actually on this map, on the Dragon Map. So that's my suggestion. If you want Mr. Rhyme, you want to find a go on this map, and at the same time, add some Zygarde cells to your collection. Maybe they'll be used in the later events. I don't actually know. I'm just saying that they're available, um, and they are pretty fancy. And considering they were very rare before, I'm just gonna catch quite a lot of them. See if they might be useful later, or maybe I can just trade for them or sell them. Probably, uh, probably a good idea, because there'll be a lot of people that won't be playing today, most likely, and then. They'll want some Zygote cells because they were very rare before, and now they're they'll become less valuable due to the fact that there's just a lot more encounters. La 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 la. la. And I suppose if there's a lot of people on this map, it's also a test to see how many people even can be on this map to help Patrick and Flameskip further develop uh, maps and just this type of map system uh, for the future for a potential update for Vortex. But once again. Like beta beta test. It's this this event is, is used as a little test as well. Which it took a month to to set this up. Which is um I mean, it was really fast. Supposedly you couldn't even catch Pokemon here until a few hours before the event started. They weren't sure they could make it in time. But luckily they did, and we have a fun event. To catch Mr. Rhyme. Unfortunately I haven't seen a Mr. Rhyme since uh before I recorded the first videos. I haven't actually been able to catch one, but Knowing it'll be standard available later is good, but I would like to just catch one myself, considering it is an event Pokemon right now. But until then, uh, I'm just going to catch quite a few uh, Zygarde cells. They'll be up for trade, they'll be up for auction on my account, so just search Alka 1 and 3 in the trades or um, on Pokebay. And you should be able to find enough Zygarde cells. I won't ask for too much, but if you go for the trade, if you want to trade for one of my Zygarde cells, then please do only offer Pokemon that I don't have yet. There will be plenty of Pokemon, even standards, like unique standard Pokemon, that I don't have yet that you can offer. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Goodbye.